Hey all, welcome to home school and we are back with our chapter soil, the 7th standard CBSE syllabus. Fine. Look at here, yesterday we have studied everything about uh, the soil, right? Not everything, few of the basic aspects we studied. We got to know how to define a soil. Uh, we got to know how soil is formed. What do you mean by weathering of rocks, right? And later, uh, we have done a small activity at the end, okay? Say, uh, garden soil, when it is put in a glass of water, you observe that garden soil being settled in different layers, okay? Like you observed different layers in a glass, okay? We can observe different layers of soil on earth. When you can observe these different layers of soil, when you dig the earth, whatever soil you are seeing right now with your eyes is the topmost layer, is actually one layer only you can see. But below that there is a layer, below that there is one more layer, below that there is another layer. Okay, so when do you observe these layers? When you dig the earth. Okay, so when you dig the earth with the help of a JCB during construction, right? When you see that long pit, okay, you observe different layers. That is what we call vertical section. Okay, when you make a big hole vertically, you are making a big hole on land vertically. Okay, and when you see that, you will see different layers. Each layer is different in its color, it is different uh, in its texture, different in its properties. In every case, the layer is different. Okay, so these layers that you will see in the vertical section. Vertical section in the sense when you dig the earth vertically like this. Okay? And you see you observe a different layers, right? So those layers that you observe is called soil profile. Clear? So about each and every layer we are studying in this class. So what uh, I can write a definition for soil profile? A vertical section, a vertical section that is a big hole that you have done on earth vertically. That is called vertical section of soil where we can observe, we can observe or see layers of soil layers of soil is called soil profile is called soil profile its definition is very very important so try to understand and learn the definition don't buy hat or mug up try to understand it's very simple what you have done to a soil what you have done uh, to a earth you have done a big hole Okay, so uh, when you look that big hole standing here, you know, that is what we call vertical section. So what you can observe in that big hole, you will observe many layers present of a soil. So that is what we will call soil profile. Clear? So imagine this is a part of a uh, land that I have made a hole, okay, that I have dug and I am observing Okay, and uh, I will draw the many layers how it looks. Clear? See here, and this is the topmost layer, isn't it? So, this is the topmost layer. So, what you will find in the topmost layer, guys, you will mainly find some amount of grass, right? And some plants, okay? And there will be some humus, dead microorganisms you will find. Okay, uh, and then, you know, below this grass and all, you will find a soil. This is the topmost layer of a soil. And here also, you know, you would find some organisms, dead organisms. Or, you know, you will find organisms like earthworm, right? Earthworm you will find. And then roots of a plant you will find. 
I'm talking about the topmost layer. So all this, this match is the topmost layer. Topmost layer or topmost soil. Okay. And this topmost layer is also called as a horizon. Okay. Try to remember. So the topmost layer, what does it contain? What does it contains? Topmost layer contains grass, plants, humus, yes or no? Humus and then minerals would be there. Minerals, this soil contains minerals, okay? And certain animals, certain animals, okay? And the soil is soft. So, topmost soil is soft and porous. What do you mean by porous? Porous in the sense having holes. What do you mean by pores? Holes. Okay. So this is how the topmost layer looks like. And what is the color? Color is very much dark. Yes or no? Dark brown you will find. So if you go to a garden and see, you know, what does the soil contain? It will contain some earthworms, organisms, microorganisms, humus. You know, how, how, if you touch the soil, how does the texture look like? It's very soft and, you know, it's very porous. You will have certain holes in the soil, right? Because it holds the water, okay? This top, topmost soil can hold the water also. It can hold Hold the water. Hold the water in the sense it can absorb the water. Clear? See, uh, plant roots are also present in the topmost layer because this soil can absorb water. Okay? That is very much essential. So, water will go through the roots only. Water is very important for the plants. Isn't it? So, this is the nature of the topsoil. Topsoil is also called with the name what? A horizon a horizon okay so below this topmost layer there is another layer of soil another layer of soil okay this is the second layer of soil second layer of soil is little hard it is not soft okay and it doesn't have much pores it doesn't have much holes also so this layer we will call it as mid soil it's called mid soil or B horizon. It is also called B horizon. Okay. So what does a B horizon contain? You know, it has less humus. Okay. The dead plant parts or the dead uh, organisms are very less. More humus is found on a top soil. Less humus is found on a mid soil or B horizon. Okay, so more minerals would be there. More minerals you will find. Okay, and soil is hard. It is not soft. It is hard and compact. Compact in the sense what guys? Compact means tight. You will find very tight soil. Clear? And the color is light brown. Light brown. Color also differs. Color is light brown. But the top soil's color is dark brown. Clear? Okay. So, below this, you have another layer. Okay. You have another layer. Where in this layer, you will find cracks. You will find cracks. And this layer is called as C horizon. C horizon. Okay, and C horizon is very hard. It's very hard. And here you will not find any humus. There is no humus here. Okay, okay. And below this C horizon, you will find big rocks. What you would find? You would find a big rocks. Okay, and this layer is called as bedrock. This is called bedrock region. It is not uh, a D horizon. It is just called as a bedrock. You will find only a bigger rocks here. What do you find? Bigger rocks. So deep down uh, when you see the earth, the bottommost layer of the earth is full of rock. 
hard and big rocks okay and you know slowly these bigger rocks only can break up into smaller particles and it may come up and make layers rest of the layers right so but it's a long process it's a very uh, slow process clear so these are uh, about the different layers that you find in earth okay so this is what we call soil profile so what is important to remember is uh, you must able to remember all these layers see this much is the top layer what you find it in a top layer what is it called a horizon next is a mid soil what is there in a mid soil how does it look like and it is also called as b horizon and below that you have c horizon very hard and no humus and below that you have bed rock okay too much of bigger rocks are placed at the bottom most layer of a soil okay so uh, again this soil profile can be understood with the help of a beautiful visual let us watch the visual see now let us see what do you mean by this soil profile see whenever you observe uh, somebody digging a hole on a land or in the roadside scene also you will find such kind of uh, picture right a big rocks when they are broken up to make a road you will see a different layers you know you can see different colors and different uh, shades in a soil see see and and these different layers you know they appear in different colors and their length their thickness is also different right so this is what we call layers of soil right so what actually is the definition of soil profile a vertical section like when you cut a soil in a vertical way in a long way just observe a pit or a big hole that you are digging say when you look at the whole you see a different layers and those different layers are called soil profile and here you see this is a, a small piece of you know vertical section of a soil imagine you can see a different layers in it each layer is called horizon and coming to the very first layer so the very first layer is actually called as the top soil you can see on the surface you uh, the soil is actually green because you know uh, uh, lots of grass would be there you know you you see only a green color thing on the top soil because the plant bodies will grow and uh, along with that if you see little deeper below that plants and all the soil that you see is very dark in color and you know this it, it may contain humus that is the dead uh, plant and uh, microorganisms right and this is called the top soil or a horizon right and here in this top soil you would find the roots of a plant and certain uh, animals also you can see you see the rodents you can see the bugs uh, you know the worms everything you will see it in this top soil only right so the top soil contains humus and it will contain certain organisms and the plant roots and the top soil is very soft and it is porous that means it will have gaps between the particles so that water can reach water can flow very nicely and that water can be absorbed by roots also right so the top soil is very 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 important and fertile soil isn't it and the next layer of a soil is called the b horizon or we can also call it as the subsoil see the color difference the color is little lighter than the top soil and this is less porous this is more hard it will have less humus and it will have more minerals also right so and the third layer of a soil is called uh, c horizon and here if you observe you will not find any humus and uh, upon that you will find certain cracks here right so this layer is actually very hard below the sea horizon there is a bedrock like you know lots of big rocks are present in the bedrock actually these rocks when break only you know uh, the topmost layers are formed slowly 
so these are the different layers of soil that we have studied so all these layers together we call it as soil profile right so when you can observe that soil profile when you have seen a pit a long hole or you know in the roadside uh, the cut rock when you uh, see it you know you will observe all these layers right so uh, understood about soil profile with the help of a visual right okay so this is a very important concept note down everything and learn revise everything properly okay so in my next class let us learn about different types of soil clear so we have different types say the soil of one area will not match with the soil of another area right our area soil is different if you go to a north places uh, the soil is different if you go to a desert place the soil is different so what are these different types of a soil what are their properties everything we will discuss in the next class okay so till then take care and uh, subscribe our channel to learn the concepts in a easier way and in a detailed way thank you so much